What's up guys, this is Rofman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire to our Let's Play as France. So to round off where we left off, we were about to destroy the Venetian Navy with our, with our Austrian allies. So let's fight. And by the looks of it, this isn't uh, the only remaining Navy in the region. There is one to the northwest. But the hope is, well, my plan is, if we can capture a few of the ships to help bolster our fleet, because it's not at full strength, then we'll be on to a winner. Let's do it like this, with my Admiral at the back. Then we're going to end up being... Like this. It's got to accept we're probably going to lose control of the weather gauge. These are nice looking ships. So the seconds are still with yellow. First, with the well, at least the heavy first have got this white handling effect, which looks pretty cool. And the Austrians are going to be bringing up the rear. Let's have a look at the Venetian fleet. So they've got a heavy first and a first. So these two. It'd be nice to capture San Giorgio and Costanza. These smaller ships are just more of an annoyance than anything. So let's hop back to my Late, I was kind of hoping they'd. Well, my expectation is they're going to get in, and they're suddenly going to go zoom and follow the wind. But to be honest, these are heavy frigates and war galleons, so I'm not necessarily bothered about trying to get in front of them because a I don't really care, and b uh, they won't be able to take up very much. They won't be able to put with very much damage because what have they got? 24 cannons aside, compared to my uh, set 53. This poor little sloop of war is going to be in a very vulnerable spot. Because he is going to be engaged by many, many ships <laughs> simultaneously. I've done okay, they've actually missed a lot. Watch him scoot in. It's probably going to do the age old AI tactic of trying to interfere with the fo my formation. Oh, that's too late for that. Sailed in the middle, cheeky little scamp. Let's triple speed it to find out what his what his MO is. So these guys are sideshow, I'm very much kind of willing to just kind of let them let them do their own thing. Main target is going to be these bad boys. And also, the Venetians have taken up the head of my fleet. Okay, let's get ready. Let's get in the. F so we're getting the first shots off. Yep, no damage there except putting a hole, some holes in some sails. So 
They're emerging to be a nuisance quite well. They're causing the front of my fleet to stop start. I'm going to play this on double speed actually rather than single speed. I've got another broadside. Okay, switch to chain. to drop a fire chain shot volley, chain shot broadside. Boom. Separate him from the fleet. They start pummeling round shot, they're going to get into a vulnerable position. This guy keeps sailing forward with chain shot going. You begin to pivot. All of you guys begin to sail like so. Gonna knock out the heavy frigate. Another mast gun. Let's make it three out of three. Delicious. And just do the round shot. Pivot you guys around to start engaging the heavy first rate that's gonna be coming. You guys fire around the uh, chain shot so that they're well, the gun should be firing. Okay, load your broadside to put a series of shots into this chip. Let's go again, firing chain shots. Come on. Your ship has been completely dismasted. Some men have left their guns to cut the wreckage free. Without sails, you are easy prey for the enemy. Unless what? you can send another vessel to support her. I'm confused. Why are they telling me that? round shot so then you can at least pour some shots at San Giorgio. Let's pivot you around slightly. See if we can shoot through our ally to get to her. Still kicking. Let's go round shot line if they just want to shoot and see. Stands there. As soon as you sails around the nose of survey, although it should be broadside. She's ramming the Prussian ship, the Austrian ship. She is. God, this heavy frigate is going to get absolutely pummeled. Double speed. Let's 
poor ship's on fire, so let's... Oh no, she's okay now. Good, the Venetian frigates surrendered, so it's all on San Giorgio. Doing so well. It's a grape shop. I've never been that. Follow the again to see if you did okay. Why didn't you. It's not doing anything. Good. Use your chain shot, knock some of the sails out of this heavy frigate, bring them down a peg or two. Just pivot you around a little bit. Just so you're in range. And drop my anchor. Speed up time. Okay, so for some reason the ship decided to move and I dropped anchor, silly little ship. Try to get on a stern. See if I can just time this right. Oh, sorry, Austria. <laughs> My broadside into her. Come on, the speed. God damn, this is such a slow battle. Everyone's on fire at will, so they should be pouring shot off, shot off, shot off into San Giorgio. Just a bunch of guns. And that's a ship the Austrians could go for. Not wasting time ramming their ships into mine. Or into the Venetians. Have firewall on. I'm more than happy just to keep pummeling shots. If one has had a loose end, just try and engage the heavy frigate, because this will probably be enough. Drop anchor, just keep you still. Breaking the hell out of this ship. Boom, 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 boom. Get some Giorgio's wavering. Routing. Let's get this lad to fire chain shot. It's just in case she does manage to slip her nose around and try manage to actually escape. Surrendered. Good. Good. And then the heavy frigates surrendered. 
lovely stuff. That's the first battle of the age yet. So I might take them all. Because there's another navy up here, which while they're full of knackered vessels, I'd rather uh, get mine in for repairs. So you will be bound for Marseille. Let's repair the iron workshops. Speed up time. And yes, in the last part I managed to successfully capture Venice. Build and I'll protect the war galleon and the heavy frigates to be a more of a secondary raiding fleet. Let's fix. Oh, I can't fix those because they're Austrian. Apart from that, though, everything else seems okay. Okay, so let's recruit. That's not mine. Uh, fix the fishery and then let's get a ship in there. Let's get these two sixths into Odessa. Let's get this army into Odessa. Get them embarked. And let's bring these ships around to strike. Naples. Let's start to close the uh, start to close the noose, tie on the noose, and get into Toronto. Which means they might get it by. Might be able to get absolutely swarmed by these Venetian armies. But this is why. You have multiple armies, so you can threaten and pressure them from multiple directions. Yep, let's just knock out that artillery battery. And then under Andre Bigler. Let's also move up to threaten them. Now they must make a choice. The Naples garrison should be easy. They've got no defences. Over to the Americas. You're still under attack. You're still under attack. You're under on the move. Still on moving to there. You'll be hitting Santo Domingo next turn. Lovely stuff. Orleans has nothing to research. In which case, then. Can't stop them from researching something, I guess. Which they can all means let's knock you down. And hit end turn. Maintain siege because I see that nasty mortar battery. Yep, fine, the Austrians would be pretty uncomfortable right now. You wanna have it? No. I don't want to give you some. I don't want to give you a territory right in the back. I want you all in one place, all in one big pot, so that I can destroy you at will. Oh, might be some rebellions against the Genoese. You demand nothing, Russia. I don't need you. <gasps> the Mughals are on the move. Oh yeah, Mysore. They're attacking Karnataka, aren't they? I think. Uh, yes, I think I will intercept. So let's force them to attack. And this should be quite nice. It's always fun defending against Indian armies because they just swarm, 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 swarm. And that makes for fun fort defence battles and they have artillery so they will make a breach which will make it easier next time round 
Let's get ready. Let's have a sip of tea. Mm. Nope, no sugar. Okie dokie. No, come on, don't be silly. Okay, let's not let's not too worry too much about the exact corners then. Bunch of reinforcements. Set up my howitzers. Put one here, one here. Let's get a more quick line. Let's get some. He's a general. And these are my mercenaries coming. For, okay, halt. Stay there and hide and stay hidden <laughs> and then you'll move up and attack their artillery and I'll set my artillery up here like it could be so much more efficient and garrison this corner but you know it seems like a real pain Get my houses to start picking away. That's only supporting troops. Ah, I'll get the general in. Okay, so they're trying to destroy this section of the wall. Let's so get them down. You need to be pretty tech, pretty ricky tech, because they get doing some doing quite a number on it. On yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna put you here. They're re actually, yeah, yeah. If they're bringing in reinforcements, they're probably. I want my artillery inside just in case. And here comes the general to take. Oh no, they found my regulars! It was too late for stakes. Attack the horsemen! Aim for some of these fuller units. Oh wow, that would have been a hell of a shot. shooting. Okay, let's make one of these start plinking at the artillery at the back. You guys should open up any day now. General? Oh, my gorillas. Fair enough. Open up the muskets any day now. So to take up the positions again and abandon the guns. Oh, 
You destroyed one of my howitzer batteries. are all spread out so they can't really do much. Make sure they're not commit. Their, they don't commit their cavalry. Not while our artillery is so close to getting inside the gates. Okay, abandon this section of the wall. To be honest, that might already be a mistake. Meh, let's roll with it, see what happens. The shells dropping under their guns. Levies are trying to get up against the against the walls. So these are our Indian mercenaries, which look pretty good. I like having a mix of these and company troops because it feels more um, authentic. Good. Here come. Defences. So many damn targets to shoot at. They've made a breach. And here they come. As you pour musket fire into them. Get a small unit inside the house. Let's bring up another East India Company to actually hold the line. Aim at the cavalry. They're coming right for us. Pound this section of the breach with quick lime. You guys fire at will. Yeah, go for my guns if you like. Into you. Let's 
Let's get these first two ground shot. And can they? Yes, they can. Also engage at a distance. Good. Goes to drop quick loan in front of the breaches, which be honest, they may as well just keep hitting. <laughs> Misses. I should know you also do round shot and keep picking at the 24 pounds at the back. Engaging the that's the general's bodyguard, all right. Can it specifically start targeting some stuff now? I don't know why these guys aren't firing their muskets, but whatever. Fireball off, fireball on. There we go. Two times the speed. Because we're in this bit of a plinking war, a lot of mercenaries are unhappy. Quicklime does not seem to work against generals' bodyguards. Well, against elephants, anyway. In which case, can you guys, I think it's you guys, go form a round shot? The guns have stopped firing. Because right now yeah, no one's attacking, so it's just going to be my... My house is trying to do as much damage as they possibly can. Take up positions right up against the wall. Coming in. Are they coming in? They are coming in. Mm, let's take down one elephant. But the rest aren't biting. Oh damn, this guy in the back just needs to die. Ooh, good shot. Good there, routing. Which means... The elephants aren't charging in. But they're sitting by the door, which is giving our guys... Do they treat them as infantry targets? Infantry targets, because that's what they're being, being able to do fly by rank. Poor old elephants. There's the general, good. Shot him off his horse. Well, elephant. Their gunners have come back, but it doesn't look like they're coming back to man their guns. So let's just quick climb the hell out of them. Uh, you go for them. I'm going to triple speed it, because there's not really a whole lot going on. And their general's bodyguard is routing, shattered, and their general is dead. So now it's just a game of can my howitzers kill them all with quicklime uh, 
fast enough that they all run away. Okay, let's group these two together to be a bit more effective. Wow, that's a lot of dead musketeers. Group these together. All hit one unit. Seems overkill, but it will make them rout much quicker. And that's the name of the game in the minute. Just rout. Just break. Break and run. Good. Now they're broken. Let's retarget my 12 pounders. Four pounders, come on, one good shot will wipe them out completely. 66. Near his damn it. Go for them. Okay, but in general, what I think is going to happen is that once I kill these guys within range of my uh, quick climbing houses, nothing's going to happen and they're not going to attack. So, what I'm going to do, guys, is once. Once these guys are routed, and to be honest, I'm going to set these guys to do a round shot. Actually, my 12 pounders are further up, so they can hit them. Um, but once these guys have. Which I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to hit. I'm going to hit pause and. Well, pause the recording, and then I'll bring you guys back when either something happens or they, uh, the battle ends. So, see you in a sec, guys. Okie dokie, guys. They eventually managed to. Well, they've decided to try and move up since I started attacking their general. They're all coming in, except for... Except for their cavalry, but they, they're, they're usually reluctant to send in their cavalry until their... Until their infantry is exhausted. So let's quick climb the crap out of them. They can take the uh, good lads. They can take the walls if they wish, because right now we can engage them just fine. And these guys follow them around inside. all the way, just like this, and halt. Make ready to engage. Engage the monster troops. Guard mode on, so they don't chase them down the, down the, uh, the ropes. Take them out. We'll teach these devils from trying to... This was never their territory. This is our territory, damn it. So then over here... Yeah, they're going to break. They don't have the numbers. I doubt they're that much better than my guys in combat. I mean, I know... So an Indian mercenary compared to com colonial infantry is not they're not as good, but they've got high enough defence. They don't kill them as easily. But they do They do stick around as long as company infantry does. So bring them on the walls. Walk back on the walls. 
infantry just rushing in. Now you better run. Continue to snipe. You go after the general. They've retreated. They've retreated. Good stuff. Let's go back up to high speed again. Because they're not routing, they're just falling back. <laughs> Till more quicklime comes coming in to pummel them. Because this this is why quicklime is so great. Let's get the 12 pounders doing round shot and sniping the general again. These guys are going to break when they come into range of this unit of company infantry. Yeah, that's them gone. Let's be on everyone else right now. Round shot. And go for their general. They have no other good targets because everything else is out of range. And this time, I definitely think they probably won't do anything. So... I'll see you guys in a second again. Cheers, guys. Radio guys, and we're back, and we're about to successfully win this battle of oh, end battle, decisive victory to knock back the Mysorian for to take war to the Mysoreans. And to be honest, if they end up wanting to push further out, then I'm more than happy to. Okay, I'm definitely have to send an army around down here then, because <laughs> they're starting to to be cheeky little scamps. Oh, and we are also about to be attacked by the Italians, but looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the, the first battle against the Italian states. Alright, cheers guys.